Alright, we good? Right, oh, yeah. yeah, we should be good. Alright, bad. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Episode 3, Peak Podcast, week number 3. Hope you guys have been doing okay, staying safe. Uh, I, I, I don't have much else prepared for that. Uh, <laughs> all chilling. Uh, uh, I'm looking at stream. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're so. good. Oh, okay. I hope so. I'm just saying because it's still it's still on the starting soon thing on Oh, line. is it? I think yeah. it's live. We're live. Uh, it's straight. It's straight. Oh, it's straight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any case, hello, welcome to Peak Podcast Three. Hope you guys are all doing uh, doing all right, staying safe during these uh, interesting times to uh, I guess live in right now. Um, mm-hmm. I guess we're just gonna kind of jump right into it. It's been a pretty interesting week. Uh, I'm gonna say, not a whole lot's been really going on in, in the in the realm of gaming as far as I know. But for starters, you know, just kind of gotta get into it. This week in Smash, uh, I guess Ooh. what happened, what's going on this week. Um, I think that as quarantine's been going on, we've been getting into kind of a, a slow, kind of, I guess, decrease in events and stuff. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 been indeed. It, it's been kind of like like slowing down and um mm-hmm. and whatnot. So oh actually I didn't even introduce everybody. Uh, if this is your first time here, or you're seeing this on uh, the YouTube VOD later, I am LS. Uh, I'm here with Tapwater, uh, King Khalil, and Jimin, the CEO of Peak Tournaments. We do this every uh, Saturday <laughs> at eight o'clock. And uh, yeah, all right. On the most informal intro out of the way. Uh, this week in Smash. <laughs> Not a whole lot going on. Uh, it was kind of the same as last week. There wasn't a whole lot happening. Uh, we had, I guess, two events this uh, this week. It's Collision 2020. Did anybody watch that? Anybody see anything interesting uh, come out of that? Uh, I, saw I did not watch today. that. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. I, I mean, didn't watch too it's... much of it. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't blame you. It's all good. It was. It was uh, very. I watched a few sets. It wasn't really anything to to get excited about. Not gonna lie, these Wi-Fi majors to me—they're kind of all starting to get the same kind of general vibe. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Is anybody else on that same boat? Yeah. It's like it's kinda, yeah, yeah. I feel that because like the offline tournaments are so much more jam-packed and like exciting because people train for them and people practice. With when it comes to online, you can't really practice for online like you can practice for offline. Yeah. So like people don't show up and show up with like new combos or like new characters or anything so it's kind of all the same it's i don't i don't think it's been very exciting watching online tournaments it doesn't have that same like oomph you know it's like i'm seeing the same people play every week and get like top eight with like maybe three or four different people but at the same time it's like mm-hmm. eh, the, the, i don't know they, they have really good production value collisions uh stream overlay and everything was dope i just didn't really i, I, I can't really get into like like, let's go tweak, yeah! Like, he's like sitting <laughs> it's not the like, same. Probably, like, like nah. B is like sitting next to him, they're just like on Twitter, like, I don't know. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I think the thing for me with offline events, it was so hype because of like all the people there, and like they would always shoot to the different angles of like everyone in the crowd and all that, and you can't really get that same thing. There's no like uh, player video or anything like that. So it's just, yeah, it's it's definitely not nearly as fun to watch as like something that would be in real life and like I, I don't know it feels it feels like they're all like being called wi-fi majors but like if they're happening every week are they really a major anymore like it's kind of just yeah, like yeah. a large tournament which is fine I, there's nothing wrong with it but just, they kind of lose that special touch that they had but yeah it's just like it's kind of it's not it's not that cool i'm looking in chat also with all their with yeah. online random people just beat pros so pros don't face off yeah sim sora yeah. notoriously always getting beaten by somebody uh in, in wi-fi brackets like every every one he enters uh, it's I, funny I don't know it's why. funny but it's so funny. he's, he's <laughs> like oh, yeah beating me on wi-fi is just normal now i'm like yeah, all right shoot <laughs> online uh, upsets just aren't fun to watch yeah, yeah com- compared to like online upsets because like yeah, it's online. If I was offline, I doubt that he would upset him there. So you really just mm-hmm. don't care about wins or losses. So states like, really don't feel like they're there at all. 
So like if I beat mm -hmm. Leo on Wi-Fi, I'll be like, yeah, let's, yeah, I, there's nobody here. I can't pop off. All right. I'm oh, I'd pop off. Like, <laughs> dude, I would pop off. Holy <laughs> crap, dude. <laughs> I don't care that dude, it's I'm... online. I can say I beat Leo, dude. It doesn't matter, but dude, it, oh, well, I guess the somebody... wind doesn't really matter, but you know, the flex does. But there are gonna be so many kids, like so many like fifteen year olds after quarantine's over and they go back to school like, yeah, I beat Tweak on Wi Fi, so like yeah, and get like all this like fake clout <laughs> all their Lazy seventh grade that. friends. Dude, they... Bro, I'm like <laughs> Bro. He's like sixteen, isn't he? He's like a what like Bro, a Lady's acting like high fifteen. School? Are you for real? Is he really? I'm pretty sure I heard him say he was fifteen. Bro, hold on. I'm going who, who did he beat again? He beat Sam Sora? Oh no, he don't. He took yeah, a game he, off he of Sam Sora. Off Sam. Yeah, he took a game off of Sam Sora. Dude, I, I would have flexed probably just the same amount as him, I'll be honest. Bro. Yeah. He actually lost game three off of a lucky bomb pull for Peach. <laughs> and he hit like a final blow, but then the bomb blew up and it killed him like first. Took priority. Yeah. Bro, yeah, Lazy Zack is 15. Wow, okay. Are you sick? He had that like whole document written. He was like, "Yeah, I've studied Sonic for years. This is all my notes on him." Bro, <laughs> I thought he was a thirty-year-old dude. He's he got a like, paragraph about spin dash and spin charge. I already forgot oh, the difference. My, was my friend had to remind me the other day. I don't know. I watched that's a incredible um video with Rap and um, Zero, and he just said like, "Yeah, with spin charge, you move a little bit, and that's how I know the difference." Nice. <laughs> All right. We're kind of reeling it back in a bit away from, uh, I guess, random Wi-Fi kids. Uh, Collision 2020, it happened. Uh, tweak one. So, I mean, good stuff to tweak. Uh, mm -hmm. Wi-Fi is, is, is cool. Um, on the other end of Wi-Fi, though, uh, our summer circuit is still kicking. Uh, this week was our third circuit event. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, every week over on this Twitch channel, uh, we host a summer circuit event, uh, and we're going to be doing it for the next, I think, seven or eight weeks. And basically, you compete, enter every week, get points, and then at the end, we have a big top 15 with a 16 spot invitational uh, with a big cash prize. So, uh, yeah, what are the, uh, if you don't ask, if you don't mind me asking, uh, Jacob, what are the current standings of uh, the circuit right now? So, I have them pulled up right here. So, we're three events in, and I think two of the events qualified as A tiers uh, based on our, like, point tiering system, and then the other event was a B tier. We almost hit, like, the S tier qualification for an event because oh, shoot. Uh, our most recent tournament was our largest, like, weekly that we've done yet. Not our largest tournament, like, ever, but it was, I think, 253 people just three off from becoming like the S tier event but looking at standings right now um first place in first is Chunky Kong then Fuerza Dawn then NC who won uh who won yesterday and Fuerza. Mania's in fourth <laughs> Mania's in fourth MFA is in fifth Luir or Luir is sixth and then tied for seventh is Blue Jay and Kirby Kid Oh wow. oh wow! Kirby could really, really showing up. He only showed up like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it felt like, like a event. month ago. I think he played one event and got second, and then that, that's where he's at now. <laughs> oh yeah, Kirby Kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, that was the first event. Because Forza beat uh, he beat Kirby Kid, and then Forza was on top for a little while. And then <laughs> we were commentating yesterday his set against uh, Blue Jay, and then Blue Jay just I think he two owed him. Yeah, I yeah I saw Blue Jay yeah. kind of taking the title from. Lazy Zack of Peak Sonic, you know? Yeah. Serious competition. I want to see them kind of duke it out. I want to see Mr. Thunder pull up. <laughs> he's, in, he's, he's, he's 13th place right now in the overall standings. We haven't had him on stream in a while, though. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, I haven't uh, talked to him in a bit either. Looking at chat, when is the library VOD going up? Uh, I do it every week. So, I think we agreed we upload on Thursday, and I, I stream them on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so every Thursday at Lawrence's Library we go up. Yeah, uh, quick shameless plug, uh, the Lawrence's Library VODs, we upload one of those uh, from pulled from my stream uh, every Thursday, but every Wednesday I think I'm going to, like Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever, I'm going to stream like an hour and do like four or five sets and try and analyze those. So you can check out my twitch.tv slash lsmutu and then go check it out. <laughs> um, go! Yeah, more, more stuff about Smash. Uh, speaking of peak... Hbox, he came back yesterday. Uh, he did better than he did last week. <laughs> yeah, he got thirty yeah. third, I think, uh, if I recall correctly. 
Yeah. Wait, let's see what place Hoodie. Hungry Box is in right now. Wait. Yeah, who did like who did he get like lose to? What characters did? He, I mean, I assume Last... he played Jigglypuff. So yesterday he lost. He played Puff, but yesterday he lost to uh, Blue Jay, and then oh. Mr. L of the Legion oh, yeah, in Losers. Wow, Mr. L. Okay. Yeah, it was close. It was really close. <laughs> Man, I think Luigi's a pretty good matchup against Jigglypuff. Yeah, people, people just get really frustrated with Luigi. Yeah, he, he had to play like three in bracket. Yeah, the the match we so streamed funny. with him was a uh, oh, Luigi. Except like I, that match was so weird because they played on our stream and like I was like, you guys might want to do a button check because like the my, the first words Hungry Box spoke to me were he said three people spectating lol question mark. I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's. It's fine. It's it's normally fine. We've never had really any issues with it. But yeah, that's what he yeah. said. And I was like, "Do you guys want to do a button check?" And then no one responded, so I didn't know if I should like switch to the game. And then like, I think the Luigi who's playing Cyclone was his name. I think he SD'd instantly, and then they kept playing. And I was like, ah, "Okay." Yeah, that was weird. I, like, we that was, just weird. was like, "All right, button check." <laughs> <laughs> they were they were playing. <laughs> All right, game two, and it was it was so weird. Yeah, it was. I I, I didn't know what to say. I was sitting and like I can't tell anymore, because H box was just playing Puff and he was just swinging aerials and, and just getting That's in. What, and yeah, I was as, like, as Puff would do. Dude. Yeah, is this mm -hmm. the game or is yeah. he just pressing? But I didn't. I dude, I didn't know what to do. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I checked out his stream because <laughs> while we were streaming, uh, he he was streaming his run with like a thousand viewers, so I checked his stream out. And as soon as I like ch uh, clicked over, uh, he lost to Mr. L, and I see him like standing up. And so I went back and I watched the stream vod after. Like the lights were off while he was playing. I I don't I don't know why, but like I saw him. He got up after he lost. He got up, turned on the light, sat back down, did a little like wipe transition. He was just sitting there like. I feel that, <laughs> dude. I feel that. I don't that. feel like night, uh, anymore, guys. I'm sorry. And then he just cut stream, and I was like, damn. Every, yeah, I, I I was gonna message in his chat and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, it sucks that he had to go out like that. that. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> likes losing to Luigi because he's such a derpy character, and his end, yeah. his end screens just like rub it in your face even more. It's just not fun to lose to a Luigi. It's not. But oh. dude, it was. It was fun. It was like interesting just seeing him get mad. Yeah. Um, to, <laughs> yeah. to Luigi. Um, I, then I guess the last bit, oh. the last bit of like Smash stuff. The quarantine random event is happening uh, today. Um, mm. So I guess in the realm of Wi-Fi, you know, a while ago, what was it like a? It's been like a month or something, right? Since the last one, a few weeks. For which um, one? Yeah. The quarant quarantine major with the oh, okay, critical yeah. alpha rad. Yeah. I think Sonic's like, won the last one, one, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. And yeah. then they were like, we're going to make it all random in the spirit of, of fun for everybody. And it's like... Oh, that's what's happening today? Oh, I didn't, wow. yeah. I didn't realize that that was part of the quarantine series. Oh. Yeah. So it's been... I mean, that, that was happening. And I haven't seen I haven't seen too much of it. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's interesting. It's definitely a cool idea. I don't think anything mm -hmm. major is going to change from it. You know, like, I don't think everyone's going to be like, all right, dude. This is how we're gonna run tournaments you now, purely for fun. No more like like people like. It's no, just like a, a it's gonna be. Like it's gonna remain competitive. Yeah, it's like it's gonna be like a fun random event, and the next one might be like that still. But like, I think we're we're easing into the Wi-Fi is not really gonna matter until we get back to offline stuff. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I think. Um, the general vibe is. Let's see. I was looking on the uh, the website where I was reading about the collision. I just wanted to like bring this up, um, just kind of straying away from Smash, but keeping with Nintendo about news about Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, because this leak from Pokemon Home, there was 21 new moves leaked for um, the new DLC coming. Really? They're adding moves? I gotta say, yeah, they, they all sound extremely cool. Wait, they're like, new? Like, I'll just give you a couple. Yeah, new. Oh, so they're There's not at never before seen. That's cool. Yeah, like skitter smack, grassy glide, rising voltage, expanding force, surging strike. This makes me want to play. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna disrupt competitive, especially. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just cool that they're doing that kind of thing, and I hope this leak is like true. 
Dude, yeah. probably, like, low-key, I'm gonna have to probably mm-hmm. start the peak Nuzlocke over if I die in the next episode. Yeah, wait, I heard everyone <laughs> died. What happened? Yeah, yeah please, so... please update us on that. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna talk about this, then we're gonna get into the next topic. But, um, uh, peak media, I, st- I streamed on Tuesday. Uh, I did the Nuzlocke. We were doing, we were doing fine. We had, like, a, a strong, like, five-man team. And then, oh my god, wait, thank you, Grapple Nation, for the sub. Um, Yo. <laughs> And so I was, I was, I was playing the game, and then I got to a battle, and I, I didn't realize, uh, I, I just some random kid with like, like confusion in some bug type move, oh, no. and then how like half the team died, and then it just got worse, and so now the only ones left are Thwacky and Combi, and if they die in the next <laughs> episode, I'm just, I'm starting over on stream, like brand new, brand new team, brand hey, new whatever. Was it a I'm bug picking catcher? Did you lose to a uh, bug catcher, or was it a yeah, youngster? It was some kid with like a like a, a dotler or something, and I was like, "There's no way." And then oh, we got washed, yeah. and I was like, "I have two Pokemon left." And then <laughs> I, I just, so yeah, if we die in the next episode, I'm starting over, and I'm just I'm 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 picking everything, and I'm naming everything random things, and it's gonna be great. Are you gonna go with a different starter? Or is yeah, Kofi I'm picking score be, bunny. Uh... I'm I'm absolutely picking yeah. score bunny. How far, dude? Not <laughs> far at all. Like straight out. <laughs> I played. Okay, I didn't realize it was gonna take that long to get to the first gym. I played for like two hours <laughs> and I wasn't at the first gym. Wait, really? And like, That's a long. Yeah, time. it was really long. So, what were you doing? <laughs> try to catch, playing the game. <laughs> I was catching Pokemon and just, just, you know, it was a Nuzlocke, so I'm just, I'm going through it at a, at a regular pace, and then it just took forever. So yeah, uh, I'm not far. That's why uh, if if I die before the first gym, I'm just starting over. If I die yeah, before, exactly. if I die before getting to like the second gym, we're we're, we're calling it. You know, I'm just starting mm-hmm. over a brand new save. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that that's about all we have for this week in Smash. Um, I, yeah, it's a slow week. Probably gonna keep being slow weeks for a little while until something, some more Twitter drama or more uh, more online majors. If that's what we're gonna keep calling them. Mm-hmm. But uh, next mm-hmm. up, I guess just a general question. Uh, we asked on the Discord what people wanted to see, and we tried to think of some general stuff. So to start, what games have we sunk the most time into? Uh, in, in quarantine, in general, I just uh, what have you guys been playing a lot? Oh boy. So <laughs> the, um... <laughs> I think that my my like most time spent or like i guess my most logged hours in a game just in general not just quarantine is minecraft which i feel is similar for a lot of people because i like that was the only game i played for like i don't even know too many years but mm-hmm. yeah then then i i guess right after that i play way too much csgo i don't know if you guys have played csgo but that game dude i regret putting so many i got nothing out of that game except for just <laughs> anger it's, it was not worth it hey you want to teach me some csgo Dude, I'm down. I'm I'm so bad at the game now. I like I have I I feel like I have a lot of game sense, but like like now after like 1300 hours, but like I'm so like rusty that I like can't kill anyone anymore. So I, I can tell people what to do like correctly, I guess, but like I can't really back up my like stuff, which no, which it's... sucks. Yeah, I used like I I never really got super like highly ranked. Well, I mean, like I don't know. I was I was ranked. My highest rank is DMG. If you guys, if anyone else plays that, I think that's like towards the upper like echelon, I guess. But now I'm just silver, and like I just mess around now, which I don't know. It feels bad. Well, I say mess around, but I I'm just actually bad. Bro, Mango, <laughs> Chad, he's like, why? What? Mango said, why he he loves CS:GO apparently. So why do why do you not like CS:GO or why do you waste time or whatever? I I just I have like if you think about it, thirteen hundred hours. Like, how many days of time is that? Like, that's, that, uh, like, I don't know. I, I don't even want to, nice. I can't do math. 1,800 hours to days, that is, 50, that's only 54 days. 54 days. Only 54 yeah. days. <laughs> only 54 days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like you, so what, oh. how many days are in a month? Like, that's about two months worth of, like, spread over a, a pretty long period of time. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like I could have, like, I mean, yeah, I guess if I, like, I enjoyed it back then, but now looking back at it, I guess I just don't have as much fun with it, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just hit 500 hours on Rainbow Six Siege recently. I'm at 508 hours now, and, like, I was at 300 hours before quarantine. Oh I my think. god. <laughs> so, and I'm still, like, I'm still top silver. I'm, I'm still not, like, breaking into gold confidently, and it's, and, like, I've been straying away 
slowly ever since GTA 5 came became free. So now I'm on my grind on that. Oh yeah, that and was. And it's just, oh my god, Bro, dude! I, I get good with Rainbow, and I get my movement correct, and then I go to GTA where my sensitivity is different. It's a third person game, and I do something completely different, and I get back to Rainbow, and all of it's gone. And it feels <laughs> like all of it's wasted. It's just I'm so bad, dude. It's got grapple so much chat. Time. Talking about he has 4,000 hours on Lee to get to Silver 4. That's 167 no, days. Nah, that's cap. That's my friend Gustav. That's cap, dude. That, that's a <laughs> <lot>. <laughs> you know, uh, Alright, Khalil, what about you? What game have you been sticking a bunch of time into? Or sunk the most time into? Uh, it? In quarantine? Probably Persona 5. Oh, yeah. Oh. I 100% at Persona 5 Royal. I got about 220 hours across uh in general are we talking about like single game or call of duty i'm calling it right now call of duty uh i'll, I'll, say, I'll, I'll say single game i'll say oh. like what, what single game <laughs> single game yeah. uh halo master chief collection i wow. got like 25 days Twenty-five days how many all right that's like that's like that's like 600 <laughs> something like that yeah, six hundred hours. Half yeah. of my CS hours, yeah. Uh, yeah. shoot, I don't think. No, I'm trying to think what game have I played the most of, or like played a lot. Uh... Fire Emblem. Oh, surprisingly, no. Because <laughs> uh, I haven't played three houses in a minute, so I'm only at like seventy hours. Um, because I only did two uh, two paths. But right. I think in general, I think in quarantine, it's been ultimate. I think. Ultimate or Animal Crossing when it came out. Oh yeah. Uh, mm. But then I think on on my Switch library, like as a whole, it's it's Ultimate with like seven hundred fifty five hours. Hmm. So yeah, yeah. I, I played way too much. Yeah, like that's only like a month, but still, I can't think of a game. Oh, you know what? Skyrim. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Okay, so so small story time. The summer <laughs> um I was going to high school, uh, is the same summer that I got Skyrim. So I would wake up every day. Uh, and I, I would wake up, I'd like throw some pop tarts on the toaster, I'd grab those, get like two water bottles, go upstairs, and I would like text the girl I liked, and I would play Skyrim like all day. And that was my summer until I got to high school. It was so sick. That's a pretty sick summer, dude. It yeah, was, no, it was honestly. So dope. <laughs> I didn't do anything Pop-tart but play game. Skyrim. It was great. Skyrim um, was a great game, but we already talked about that last week. Yeah, we did. I got, brought I got the, the big book. Right book. God. The big book. <laughs> The archive. Uh, I think. All right. So I'm guessing that fills out the what games we spent time into. Moving on to the next topic. This one was pulled straight from the Discord uh, when I asked about uh, what people wanted us to talk about. Is mobile gaming actual gaming? I thought this was an interesting question. No. Um, I, mean, <laughs> I I took a class on this stuff. So I mean, what do you guys think? Uh, yes, I think it's actual gaming. Really? Yeah. Like. To, I a, think, to, a, to an extent, yeah. I think it depends on, like, how you define gaming. If gaming is just, like, oh, you're casual, just, like, play, have fun, like, like Clash Royale or whatever. Whenever, whenever I think about mobile gaming, I think about PUBG Mobile, and I just get angry. So, <laughs> like, that that's literally mm-hmm. the dumbest game I've... I remember playing that, dude. We would take... Uh, what were those standard te- standardized tests? Uh, uh, like, I think it was junior year? I don't... Was, was like we would play it at lunch, too. Jacob, you sat at the lunch table. Yeah, we not, played it at not, lunch that, a like, lot. Dude, as soon as I found out, I was playing against bots most of the time. Like, are you serious? That, like, what's the point? Like, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. And now, now, like, PUBG Mobile is like the biggest like esport for like mobile games. Like, dude, nah, nah. That's just, that's just that's so stupid. Yeah, mobile mm-hmm. esports, bro. What? They had a dream hack, dude. They had, they, oh, they had, uh, 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 what's that game? Clash, Clash of Clans. They had Clash, Clash of Clans. Royale. Clash of Clans clan battles live on the main stage I was like bro why is this here it was like eight o'clock no one was even watching the stream i checked the stream i was like dude what like what <laughs> what's the point oh, okay. the, dude there's these teams like wearing jerseys like they're literally like little tap like uh... that's crazy oh. <laughs> they're, like, they're like they're wearing their jerseys and like tapping along on the little like iphone or whatever like i mean i i mean i guess they're making money like uh, that's fine but like I, it's, that, that just amazes me i don't know I would say like it does kind of classify as gaming if we're gonna like use it so broadly but it's like it just like doesn't have the scene 
it's not as competitive. It doesn't require as much skill. I just feel like it's like the absolute most bottom tier of gaming, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> I just. I mean, it depends. What do you define gaming. as gaming and a gamer? That's what I'm saying. Though it's such a broad definition that you can't really like classify gaming, like. Because I guess playing a game is gaming, right? So like technically that is gaming, but it's not has a weird competitive scene. I think I think I'm, you have to like so split it. Right? mobile gaming. Yeah. I'm just saying some of these Japanese rhythm games, they, they be for real. Are they They're on difficult. mobile? <laughs> Are they on mobile? Yeah, I yes. believe. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait, Bro, really? All the item rhythm tap games. Wait, name one. Name one. Oh, I know, love, love Live. Um, lo lo love love Live School Idol Festival. Yeah, Love Live with, with Bang the anime Dream, girls. Bang Dream Girls Band Party. Love Live All Stars. Do you, do you play yeah, these games? Where's my tablet at? Oh, <laughs> Where's my tablet at? <laughs> Wait, is Love Live like a dating sim, like rhythm game? What's going on? Is it? A it's just a rhythm game. Oh, okay. Dude, okay. shout outs to I've got the what's up, Long Girl Mari? In Love Live? Yeah. Yeah, so a while ago my friend was at some convention and he like he bought me like a Mari <laughs> figure. And, and so I just have one over like it's some like in on my bookshelf in my room. I have like a bunch <laughs> of figures in the background. <laughs> Can't see it. The mango, why does he know this? Because he plays rhythm games, bro. He plays Love Live. Yes. I feel I feel like the mango's like like an anime hater that that's the type of vibe i'm getting right now like, are there any rhythm games I mean, that are not like anime games uh like osu well i mean oh uh, yeah i guess yeah like osu and like ddr i guess yeah yeah i yeah <laughs> i've got the love that on deck <laughs> i do six oh the six anniversary celebration let's go <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, so oh, on, let me on, on... pull up my collection of URs. Oh, he's got he's got everything. All right, while he's showing everybody, I'm the mango. My best friend is a big anime fan. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. So I took I took a class uh, this last semester, Intro to Game Industries. Um, and as far as I learned in that class, uh, all gamers are gamers. So if you if you play games, you you count you count as a gamer. That's like what he he spent like uh, that part of the semester teaching. So basically, oh. if you play video games at all, if you play any kind of game, you're a gamer. And that's like okay, cool. And then like that that was as far as it went really. <laughs> we, he would teach like very like I don't want to say like pro gamer, but like everybody that plays games is a gamer. There's no casual or competitive or like hardcore or whatever. At the end of the day, we're all just people that enjoy video games, and it's like yeah. I, I guess it was, dude. It was it was it was a cool class. So, so boomers, boomers are gamers. gamers. <laughs> I mean, dude, are boomers ga dude, uh, I guess my mom is a gamer then, dude. Bro, does your mom play games? Does your mom play video games? So, okay, this is this is kind of going like so we like me and my sister, and my brother, we'd like play like Mario Kart or whatever. My mom would like come and be like, oh, let me play. And no, okay, wait, scratch Mario Kart. The most recent game that we played is Overcooked. Do you, do you guys know Overcooked, where you're like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I played. Oh, bro, mom's a gamer, bro. Dude. There it is. Mom's a gamer. Dude, <laughs> my mom. Holy crap. We we were like, oh, do you want to play with us? We're cooking. And the mom was like, oh yeah, sure. She she she's like a great like like she she knows how to cook like in real life. But dude, in that game, she couldn't do anything. It was it was <laughs> so all she did was get in the way. <laughs> Hey bro, at the end of the day, no matter how bad you are, you're still a gamer. Bro. Yeah, no, she's a gamer. Put her, yeah. put her in Grand Theft Auto, just see mm -hmm. what happens. Like like a little like science experiment, just kind of like, all right, you like, give her the controller and see what she does. Dude, she wanted to commentate That's the next Smash Media tournament. stream. When's the next? Oh, when's the next Media stream? Oh yeah, dude. Oh my God, have your mom stream on Media. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be so good. Have your mom stream on GTA 5 on Media. It'd be so bad. Uh, that would okay. be sick. Moving on from is is phone gaming gaming. I think the consensus is yes. kind of yeah. Bro, I don't like years. No 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 no. That you are. Is that not safe for work? Wait, I don't years no. into getting this. You are. What is it? I could have sold out in an ultra rare card. <laughs> this is a mobile game. It has to have a gotcha system and money to be spent. But I didn't spend money, so I just 
played this game for like four hours a day. You grinded oh, it out. There yeah. it is. Get mobile Whoa. gaming is gaming, and there okay. we have it. Uh, also, yeah. grappling to chess yeah, isn't a sport. I looked it up. Uh, chess is not a sport. You said chess is not a sport. Wait, who said that? Wait, really? Who? Bro, I looked it up and I was like, is chess a sport? And they're like, no, because the dictionary defines it. I wrote a whole paper about this. I hate that. I wrote a whole <laughs> paper about esports, like a bunch. Wait, was this for your class? Yeah, and oh, it was okay. about like the validity of esports as sports. It was like a, a research paper I had to do. But uh, <laughs> basically, a lot of people define sports as different things, but I think the general consensus is, is it has to be something physical. And uh, chess does not qualify as a sport, according to what are esports or sports? Yeah, wait. If esports are sports, mm -hmm. how are, are esports? Esports are esports. So then, okay. well then, wait. So if 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 wait. Except in art, esports. I've lived my whole life as sports. chess is a sport. I've also played chess for ten okay. like over ten years. So according according to this article from two thousand, welcome to the research uh, part of, of the podcast. Um, <laughs> esports qualifies as a real sport, just as games qualify as entertainment. So there we go. There's that. But if I look up, is chess a sport? We get no chess not a sport. Uh, Dictionary.com defines sport as an athletic activity requiring skill and physical prowess and often a competitive nature. Uh, as the basic Dude. chess is not athletic, most people do not define chess as a sport. That's an article from this year in February. They said chess is but not athletic. But what if athletic, it's an dude? online chess? What if it's online chess as an eSport? Bro, it's online. Yo, <laughs> wait, I out. think you're onto something. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. <laughs> dude, chess.com? <laughs> Uh, even though the International Olympic Committee regards it as a sport, it is not a practice. Yeah, it is not practiced in the Olympic mm. Games. Has its own league. Okay, let's just assume ch let's let's add chess is a sport, esports are sports. Hey, bro, yes. Street Fighter is gonna be at the Olympics. Oh, you're Wait, right. Wait, really? Yeah. Esports are yeah. sports, chess is sports. That's fine. Um, what? I did not know that. Wait, really? <laughs> they're doing. They're running three man teams at, at the Olympics, like Those by country. Do they Each get? Country is gonna have their own qualifiers. Do they get like Olympic medals and stuff? Yeah, it's like it's gonna be part of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna be part of the Olympics, so I assume. Yeah. What the? F oh my god, dude! That's All so right, deep. we need to start playing Street Fighter, dude. Are Street you kidding? Fight. Oh my god, dude! Wait, th wait, holy! Cr okay. Oh my god. Okay. Have you guys seen like in my YouTube recommendations? I always get like recommendations from the Olympic Channel, and like I've been I've been watching a lot of them like in quarantine, and like. Dude, oh God, the could you? <laughs> wait, wait, why boycott yeah, the Olympics? Rocket League and um, Street Fighter Five are gonna be at the Olympics. They picked Rocket League That's over it. like. That's, That's wild. Really? Bro, put air hockey in the Olympics. That's a real man's game. Yes, that hurt. Yeah. If you get your finger in the way, it's gone. It's just. Dude, it's over. Oh. Mhm. Mm <laughs> That's cra- I'm- I'm actually- that makes me really happy, but that's also crazy. So it's just Rocket League and Street Fighter, then. Yeah. I crazy. guess they picked, like, those games are not really violent, right? I Wait, mean, not Overwatch? Or League of Legends, or like any- like, I- wow, that's- Overwatch wow, is like yeah. peak esports. I guess that's they like, kinda- That's like the tip of the- Okay. Maybe- but maybe they kinda the have violence. their own, like, League already, but- Yeah, but like- I'm glad Street League. Fighter is there. I'm glad that that game is there. That's a- that's a fun game. But like- Overwatch is like, like the pinnacle of evil 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 equals Olympics for fighting games. I guess so, but not. I mean, not right now because online. But like Overwatch <laughs> is like the pinnacle of like esports production value. Of. Overwatch is dead. Yeah, uh, no, Overwatch is dead. I mean, no, I it, you it, say that, really, but like, I don't, I don't think Overwatch, Overwatch is dead. I think we just don't like the game. Overwatch is not. <laughs> Overwatch dead. League is actually like good. Overwatch That's the dead. one crazy thing. Huh. I'm like straight up, I'll. I'll I, I won't be the first to admit, because Khalil just said it, but, like, I was watching some overall sick matches, and, like, it's tight. Production value is great. <laughs> the game still looks good. The only thing is that when everybody runs mirror teams on the same map, so, like, the top level, it's really annoying. Also, I'm pretty sure the Atlanta team sucks. Atlanta Rain? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, they're, they're, yeah. they're bad. I'm I don't know anything about, about them. Every stream. Yeah, no, nah, I've never even played the game, and I'm trying to voice my opinion on it. I think it sucks, and I haven't even played it, so that, It's yeah. a casual <laughs> game trying to be competitive. Uh, is it a casual because of skins or is it because of something else? I think just, think, I don't know. I think it's casual, casual, competitive casual, game. Ca oh, casual. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying, is that casual or casual? Yeah. Like, I, dude, I don't think Overwatch is I definitely right. I think, don't think, I think it's casual. The production value is great. The commentators are all great. Like, they all know what they're talking about. I, I, I think Overwatch is like, like the, the pinnacle of esports. And 
That's the modern day. Like the only Overwatch thing... spectating system is actually really good for competitive spectating. Yeah. Like the, the I don't know. I feel like CS:GO that... has a bit better, like than Overwatch, in my opinion. Like pinnacle wise, I feel really? like the peaks, like CS:GO, like at the height of its, I guess, like run. That was like <laughs> definitely like I had the biggest turnouts like I've ever seen. Even though I absolutely despise the game with every being in my body, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the turnouts for that and the absolute like hype and events that they would bring, and like the money being put into that, like absolutely insane. Like I, I've never seen anything like that. I think I think one thing with the CS:GO productions is Overwatch League is all done. So like I kind of have more knowledge about this because i went to this like esports like online esports like conference thing where um they had speakers from blizzard come and talk about how they're doing like remote production and all that stuff specifically with overwatch league and also like there's a dude from riot and like a couple other companies i think ea was there with like apex and all that but oh wow like blizzard like these companies like i think specifically blizzard and riot they really have like their shit down for like remote production because like I know that the dude from Riot Games, Riot Games is League of Legends, this is kind of off topic, but like they were already preparing to go full remote and then this kind of just like pushed them over the edge. But yeah, no, I think, what were, what were we talking about again? I don't know. Uh, Overwatch, Esports, Pinnacle of... Uh, whatever, their whatever. production is really good. Yeah. Their, their production is really good, but I think the game, I, I, I don't even have an opinion on it. I don't play the game. I don't know. <laughs> the Mango, you can gamble on Mons, hey, Cisco, but Rocket League is in the Olympics. <laughs> Bro, don't play League of Legends. They, no, I mean, let me say this. It's been a, it's been a few months since don't I said say League of Legends. <laughs> You're saying it every day. Fuck League. There Dude. we go. That's what we like to hear. That's, that's the kind of propaganda I like to hear. I'm with Monopoly that as well. Plus, yeah. Okay, I'm checking that right now. Before, you said Monopoly you Plus? On, Wait. <laughs> we're, we're, we're sticking to, to the, the eSports section. I need to... Or a, a little long, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swatch up. Yeah swap next but i i need to see this i'm sorry i need to see monopoly plus. there's got to be some big dude stream in monopoly plus no there's no reason way. why it would be more than no way. uh okay what is that so just chatting is always really high out of why monopoly plus is... girls just yeah bro smash is more than overwatch right now what? okay oh wow smash Who's... is yeah why smash are so is many like people fair? streaming yeah. monopoly plus but yeah <laughs> maybe there's like, a tournament okay, going on <laughs> The top stream is like 24, 24k viewers, but then next is like Wait, who 3, is 000, it? Who is 2, it? 000, Who's the 24k like, dude? Uh, Ebay, a Spanish streamer. Oh, I got no There are clue. three. Yeah. There are two Spanish streamers on top streaming Monopoly Plus. Maybe they're know. streaming together. <laughs> and and oh. then there's a third one. And okay, yeah. Why are you? Okay, I don't. Cool. Okay. Bro, why do some people be watching still... just chatting? Dude, like, the right. Day. I swear, all the bro, movie it's, streamers it's the just sleep go there. Streams, so bro. It's, just, it's the sleep streams. Bro, I know it's, it's the e-girls, but sometimes it just be people sitting here. <laughs> it's the Isn't that what we're mind. doing? People sit Eat there the and they get paid. This is a podcast. That's different. We we have topics. Yeah, we have topics. Uh, where... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we have, we let have me check out. This. Let me check out this one real quick. <laughs> wait, let me check out wait, this one. <laughs> Oh, no, let's let's yeah, move on. Let's move on. Streamers. Okay, yeah, let's 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 keep, let's keep it rolling. E girls, right, right. yeah, I yeah, don't trust e girls. E girls aren't real because they're just girls on the internet. We're gonna move on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is dipping a little bit into real life uh, outside of the gaming spectrum of, uh, of what we talk about. Uh, so if y'all don't know, we're all college students. We all go to the same school. Uh, at least the the people that are here tonight. Uh, James goes to a different can uh, different college, and then Tread King comes to the same school that we do. Uh, and for us, campus is opening back up, kind of in the fall. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, they sent that weird. weird. Email out. Yeah, yeah. It's so the email that we got. Um, I I checked it like yesterday. Uh, because my friend is telling me about it, and basically the way that our 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 school has decided to do it is um having a blended whatever uh i'm gonna pull up the email right now on my phone just so i can you know make sure i know uh, exactly what i'm talking about uh let's see okay uh planning to deliver the great majority of courses on a face-to-face -face basis using a blended model in blended courses students will meet at their assigned times in their assigned classrooms with their instructors one day a week students will complete the other parts of the course each week through online activities this model will provide consistent in-person learning experiences 
throughout the semester and at the same time allow university to maintain social distancing keep campus safe blah 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 um what do y'all think about that as we all go to the same school uh real quick before we start that i just sold and followed a just trying to eat girl what <laughs> but um yeah, go ahead bro go ahead <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> weird going to school one day a week i i don't know yeah. whether opening at all if they feel it's unsafe to be there if it's if you're going to go there one day then like if someone's going to catch it and spread it then it's going to be caught and spread mm-hmm. yeah that's being there less it's reduces counter, it's it counterintuitive like, if it happens if you're going to go commit all the way don't just like yeah haphazardly like throw one, in one that day you want it to be safe I think mm-hmm. there's like the whole the whole thing that I was thinking about it at least is like going to school one day a week and I was talking with my dad. Like this whole thing with corona, I don't want to bring it home, but like I also mm-hmm. it's just it's such a weird thing and like I'm lucky because I live like 20 minutes away from the school, so like I can just drive back and forth, but there's some people I think you guys live pretty far out. I think like but yeah, like I mean I I live pretty far out. Like you wouldn't want to have to I commute, live, like, right? Commute. Like and if you would have to get like campus housing or anything like that for classes one day a week that feels really like dumb and kind of like a waste yeah. of money it's um I-, I have another question about that but uh uh tap order what do you think about yeah, about our blended model for fall i definitely oh it's like i feel like it's really counterintuitive because like they're making classes online so we won't catch it but yeah again like um like Khalil said, like going there still, we're gonna catch it if it's there. So like either we fully go there or we fully go online. And like, I'm kind of conflicted about the idea like cause I do want classes to go back. I don't want to do it too early, but I'm taking a class. I'm taking the Georgia Film Academy classes at Pinewood Studios, which um, I'm unable to do online. So I'm like, I'm not sure what's happening with those. And it's such a weird situation. And I'm like, I'm going to have to email like uh, the head of my film department to see how that's going to work out because I just like, I don't know how they're going to do that. And like, I don't know, like, because we already have our schedules with the registered classes, like what's going to, what one day are we going to go? And like, yeah. those professors are going to be like available at different times. Like there's, there's going to be professors we all have that are available, like only at the same time. It's, it's going to be a train wreck. That one day is just going to be a mess. Yeah, it's it's weird. I, I really just don't think GSU is prepared for it. I, 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 don't know. I don't think anyone would be like. I don't think I like. Real talk. Sorry, for one thing. I just I don't think we should be going. I don't think anyone should be going back to school. And like, no. especially yeah. they should not be forced to go back because this is not going to go away until like at least a couple mm-hmm. more months like down the line. It's just it's not yeah. worth it. As much yeah, as I want to go back. But... I, will, I will throw this out there. The emails like said like this this could all change. It's 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 literally like today's tomorrow's the last day of May, so we still have like all of June and July and a bit of August for them to make any other like decisions. Like why even say anything if it's still like sub- like I I don't know. I feel like they should have waited, you know. I, I think just to kinda keep it, it's like, okay, we have some kind of plan, but don't worry because things might be different and you know, just be like we have something like they they had to think of something. Um Personally, I, I, I don't... I, I'm on the same boat as you guys about, about not going back, either going back fully or, or not going back uh, at all and doing everything online again. I, I hated online classes. I, I made that clear like a yeah. thousand times. Uh, yeah. I, I, I didn't learn anything. Yeah. I, hated I, I hated it. So bad. I, I passed. <laughs> I, I, I didn't use learn my anything. resources I learned, to pass yeah, I learned all my classes. absolutely nothing. Everyone cheated on everything. I was just like, wow. It's either, like, literally the hey, online hey, class. I cheat. Cold... I ain't oh, cheat. I no. used my resources to my advantage <laughs> to leverage myself yeah. to, to reach my goal of keeping my three point whatever average. Hey, hey man, I had Yo, a shout out position. <laughs> And I used it, okay? <laughs> I had yeah, the I had the high ground. The product, I didn't I had the... <laughs> shout out to yeah. uh for 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 dude for sending out the, the what was it, let all the students pass the semester that petition like as soon as we were we we're not coming back. Check uh, dude and Socratic Socratic would be clutch if I cheated but I didn't cheat. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm just saying Socratic would be really good if one were to 
cheat. Yeah. Like, but talk, I don't do that. Talking real quick about like the whole cheating topic, I think that one thing, like, I don't know. I think online classes were kind of fucked up in like the aspect that like since cheating is such an easy thing to do. Not saying that like any of us cheated. Not mm-hmm. saying like, I mean, it's just like people who normally like wouldn't cheat and people who like wouldn't do that like it's kind of hard to try and take stuff like legit when everyone else has such easy access to cheating and it feels like almost like i mean it is unfair you know yeah. just that other people mm-hmm. could cheat and your grade could be affected because of that because i know in my psychology class we moved to online and then there was a whole like cheating scandal and my final got delayed and all this stuff because these idiots passed around the answer key and everyone got a hundreds on the test within like three minutes of them starting. Like, I, I just like, why? Yeah. Why do people I, don't have brains? See, yeah. what I do is Mom. after using my high ground advantage, to it's fullest potential. I make sure I wait a humanly amount of time before I submit something. Right. See, there you go. It's it's a matter of you got you got to play the game. You got grapple engine. There's no point in being honest. Oh, absolutely. However, wait, really? I you guys not... feel like that? I don't know. Bro, for school, for online classes, no. Unless I'm turning in something that I have to like show. Like, I'm t- I'm taking art classes this this next semester. How do I do that online, bro? I'm not mm. like this. Yeah. So like, hey, whatever that's gonna be. One, <laughs> the one class I won't use my tactical advantage in is Japanese. I'm gonna yeah, try yeah, hard and learn in that class. That's that's worth. I'm never. You have like Japanese Naruto pulled up on another tab. <laughs> 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 Dude, you I, right. I mean, oh, yeah, I gotta no, say, you're gonna cheat. Something right. funny that happened this semester for my uh, introduction to programming class. Um, everyone was freaked out because we had our first like online exam coming up. Everyone in the uh, like the group chat was like everybody email her that your camera doesn't work and she needs to cancel the camera on the quiz and they got the camera banned on our quizzes and we had no camera on any one of our exams and i was like that's why don't y'all just study you could have put that effort into just studying hey bro Hang on, Gap. Um, They're coordinating the emails? Holy crap, what are these guys doing? <laughs> yes! Like, Bro. like 50 people emailed her, and then they went into her, like, um, what are, what are those called? Those times that she would help? Uh, oh my God, uh, what are they? Uh, help session? Office hours. Uh, office hours. Oh, office yeah, office hours, hours yeah. yeah. And they're like, hey, uh, my camera doesn't work, but they'd have, like, their camera pulled up in the Zoom meeting, they're like, my camera's broken, so I can't use it on the exam. And she just gave up. She's like, "Yeah, don't don't use the camera. Just cheat. Dog. Whatever. <laughs> just cheat." I had I had one get out of my get out of my Zoom meeting. I had I had one test with a lockdown browser, and it just didn't work for me. I don't know why. Like when I tried to take it, it kept like it, it just wouldn't open the test. And then I emailed the professor, and then I took it. I, I don't know what the difference in my grade was, but I I still got like a B on the test. So it's like mm. I. You know, I used my my resources. Also, I've never seen a group me blow up like that during a test. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> yeah. I've never like I, I muted it because I'm like, if I somehow get exposed and the school like finds bro, me, that's what like, happened to me. Oh my. Like, hey, bro, I I wasn't there. Oh, <laughs> I saw yeah, people yeah, saying yeah. pictures of the questions. Off, dude, it was a mess. Actually, two things on that. I took a test on lockdown browser before. Camera on, mic on. I was ruffling with papers, cheating. Teacher ain't never saying nothing. <laughs> like, like camera on in front of the camera. I wait, grabbed my notes. Wait, what about your high ground advantage? Questions. This is different. Dude. No, no, this, this was before they even. Oh, okay. cool. I was doing <laughs> this in the dorm. And like lockdown browser, still cheated, ain't get called out for or nothing. And then the group uh, me thing broke like the second week of school. Our professor called us out for a group me. And I was dumb confused. I wasn't even in the group. I didn't even have the app downloaded. <laughs> Dude. Dude, all this talk about high ground advantage and then straight up, oh yeah, I was cheating. I was cheating, bro. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna watch the whole video. Yeah, nah, no. There's no way, yeah. But Canvas is opening for one day a week, which begs the question, because cause Khalil, you and I, we, we lived uh, down there this last semester. Uh, moving? Moving back into dorms just doesn't seem worth it. I have a friend who we were talking about it today, and she was like, "Yeah, no, I'm absolutely going back. I don't want to be at home." And I'm like, "That's fair. Uh, I'm chilling." Uh, and if 
if if it's one day a week, I might as well just keep doing what I'm doing now. You know, I might as well yeah. Start. Like if it's one day a week, mm-hmm. like I could bust that thirty minutes drive twice a day. Like yeah, mm-hmm. it's like yeah. It's, yeah. Either, it's either I stay at home, I do things online, and then just deal with it, or I I get up whenever I drive like forty five minutes so like an hour downtown for however long. I then have to pay for parking. Then I gotta come back. Like it's it's a it's a whole it's a whole mess. Yeah. She's like the drive is bad. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't. Oh, dude, no, Adrian, that's why it I was don't so bad, it. dude. That's but, why I left. You get like free parking if you register. Yeah. Oh, for real. There is you free parking at our parking. college, though. It's at the yeah. uh, the stadium, and you can take. Blue Loss. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Blue Loss. I I never parked there. I always parked downtown because I would I wouldn't wake up on time. Look. I parked there and I got hit. Nobody left the note. Are you serious? Wait, to your Miata. Yeah. Wait, no way. That's so <laughs> oh, fucked. No. Dude, it's it was oh my god. I, I I think in the same day I got like a parking violation because my clip, like my hanger tag, also fell off when I was driving and I forgot to put it back up. Mm. So I came back and they like my favorite part about Why? my favorite part about my car. Yeah. And like <laughs> my favorite part about my car is the front, how it looks. And I looked at it and I was like, wait a minute, and this whole side was just like Wait. Have, like, you guys, have you guys bro. seen Zach's car? It's like it's like a Fi like convertible like blue me up. Like, <laughs> holy, is it convertible? <laughs> it is right. Yeah, I oh, care way oh too much my. about my car. I'm very with invested the, in my car. With and a I was car like, like that, I, I mean, so yeah. Messed up. <laughs> yeah. There's a kid in my high school with Miata. Really? Yeah, for hey, a project dude, we had so to do, sick. we had to do. Okay, this is very off topic. Uh, <laughs> for for a project we had to do, we had to run for president or whatever, and like do like a whole campaign, and like people would vote at the end. What class um, is for, this? For, mm-hmm. This was it was gov. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and so in his video, he 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 he's in his Miata, his like campaign video, <laughs> and you just see him like doing like drifting in like in the cul-de-sac of his neighborhood. <laughs> It was so yeah. sad. <laughs> Did he win? He he, he didn't win. Oh. No. <laughs> dude, I won. It was dope. Wait, you won? Yo, wait, what I, uh, Give us the campaign speech. Ooh. I want to hear it. Dude, I don't... Oh, dude, okay. <laughs> For the campaign speech, I called out all the other people running as to why they weren't good. It was, oh. It was great. Oh, so you just... Oh, you called them out. Okay. Dude, I roasted everybody. Oh, I roasted Russian. the group of, like, the girls that didn't uh, turn in any of their stuff in on time. The kid with the Miata wasn't even there for, like, half the class. <laughs> Uh, there were like a bunch of other reasons. I just I think like one of them talked too much. One of them was like way too quiet. I dude, I went in. I had like the whole speech written down. <laughs> That's oh fine. God. That's, That's sick, incredible. Dude. That's legendary. I'm, Mango, I'm not good. They're just bad. No, dude, I was dude, I was nice. I was good. I was a dope. You just said president. you roasted everyone. <laughs> I dude, okay, I was nice in the, in, in in the sense of like I was good at what I was doing. And I'm like, I'm like, rel- I was relatively articulate with what I was trying to get my points across. And like, everybody in the class, we all have the same opinions and views or whatever, give or take like one or two kids. But like, I, dude, I was just, I wasn't, it wasn't, I'm not good and they're bad. It was like, I'm great, they're all bad. And then it, I, and then I won. It was, it was sick. Dude, I have a story that mm-hmm. kind of goes along with the I'm not good, they're just bad. I think Zach <laughs> might know about it, but. Uh, I, I should I even should I even mention it? Like, uh, it's re- okay. I'll, I'll I'll go real quick. So you guys know National yeah. Honor Society in high school? Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I ran yeah. for I ran for president like for the senior year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The men for president. It, it was literally <laughs> like we had we had a whole poster. I photoshopped my head like like on a picture of Obama and like the White House like this. Like I I photoshopped my head on top of his and like I Bro. we had posters everywhere. Oh. And dude. So it was it was it was a two person race. So it was me and this other girl, and this other girl is like you know like the dual enrollment. She goes to like Georgia Tech since like sophomore year, or whatever. All her classes there, blah blah blah. Super smart, things like yeah. And and then there was me, some like dumbass like I. Uh, <laughs> and we. <laughs> this is really God, can I a good platform you? too. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. Everybody, vote for me. No, we no, We had the speeches and like I didn't prepare anything because I thought it was like a little joke like speech. <laughs> Wait, was that a thing? Jim in for, Wait, Jim did in people for make that? 2020 <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> oh my god. Well, well. Anyway, we had our speeches, and I didn't prepare anything because I thought we were just like joking around. And like, dude, I went up there, and I kid you not, it's the most embarrassing moment of my life. Like, oh, literally, no. I think you know, like you see those memes where like you're lying in bed or whatever, and it's like remembering something like from like three years ago that was cringy, and your eyes just like bolt. Yeah, that 
that happens. Like that legit happens yeah. to me. No, like, that, on that, a monthly basis, it's <laughs> dude. And I, I still won. And everyone hated her. I don't know. Like they they just hated her, and they're like, I don't want her to win, so I'll just vote for you. So it's literally <laughs> the epitome we'll of I'm not good, but she's bad right so. now. Oh no! No, like I, uh, she probably would have done a better job than me. I don't have anything against her, but like everyone, like voted. I don't know. There's no other explanation to why I won, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, that was oh, incredible. Moving, moving back <laughs> a bit more on topic. Uh, you know, we talked, we talked about college campus opening. We have the same kind of. It, yeah, to end my. Yeah. People just don't like over. To close my Miata story. Yes. Oh, I want to wrap up my Miata story. <laughs> in, in conclusion. <laughs> I called GSU and I was like, yo, somebody hit my car in the uh, in the parking lot. Are there any cameras? Is anybody gonna respond like gonna report this or like gonna claim responsibility for this because nobody saw this? And they're like, Well, you can talk to the police and I was like and I asked them, I was like, What are they gonna do? And they're like, Well you can file a report and I was like, Why are you guys so fucking useless? And I just hung up. <laughs> Wait, did you actually say that? I was so mad yeah, I feel bad. Feel bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we waited for the response. Kind yeah. of told the campus police that I was not having a good day. <laughs> Wait, so did they resolve anything or what? No, no. no. Campus police that are useless. Well, GSU yeah. police are useless. You would think they would oh, have security stupid. cameras or something like out there right. so they could at least see, but I don't know. That sucks. Yeah. Or the cop that's there 2020 would actually, I mean, 24 7 would actually see like a car hitting <laughs> another car. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <gasps> All right. I'm remembering it. I'm getting heated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, while while he's heated, uh, last I guess the last thing we're gonna talk about tonight, um, just a very general. What have we been doing during quarantine? We we asked this every stream, or I guess we've only done this like three times. But yeah, we ask this like all the time. Uh, what have we been up to, everybody? What's what's going on in in our lives as as life continues and you're kind of kind of on lockdown and kind of weaning away from it, I guess. Well, today, like 30 minutes ago, I sold out all the Just Chat and Eat Girl <laughs> Japanese made wearing outfit. But it doesn't make me, does it make me weave now. I think yeah. so. I think I that would, I I think that would do it. If the Love Live did, then this did, bro. Like, Yeah. <laughs> bro, Love Live is a beautiful anime series that everyone should enjoy and appreciate <laughs> even the mango's calling you out. you know what like, let, let me let me go grab my stuff real quick oh my god <laughs> wait oh oh no all right oh uh, bro i found the stream we was talking about i think <laughs> wait, no more no more Man, of the main girl i'm just saying i found the, yeah okay i found this this is the stream oh my god it's a girl in like a oh, cat, wait, let me... like cat maid outfit. Where Nothing wrong with him being a weave. Well, you know, equal equal rights or whatever. I guess. Nothing wrong with being. There's a yeah. hot tub stream. You what the? What oh, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are these guys doing? Just chatting kind of. What are they doing? Just, ch <laughs> just trying to kind of wow. This is one figure. Um. Is it, um, it Meowco? It's Meowco. Yeah, yeah, that's that's you guys all looking. I got wall oh, from number my. one. Oh, there's more. Oh, he got he got he got. Is he it, got this is show and tell, dude. I'm down. Wall Let's go. Number two. Bro. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, let me grab the shirts. Let me grab the shirts. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, while he's getting the shirts, what what else have we been up to during quarantine? Oh, let me grab my Naruto hoodie. That's sick. <laughs> No. Guys, I don't have anything to grab. Wait. I'm not, I'm not we got apparel. We got anime apparel. Bad respect. I'm, I'm not Eric, number this. one. I'm chill. Very nice. Very nice. And then this is into into <laughs> show and tell stream. Shirt number two. <laughs> show, show and tell I want to see you in public wearing that, please. <laughs> Never. You <laughs> can't be walking to Momocon in it. That's about it. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Change his head a little bit. Like, Change the title of Park Place. <laughs> show and tell. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, get, getting back to the whole quarantine topic. Yeah, yeah. What, what else? Who, who, who's been up to what? So, give, give me something besides anime. <laughs> For me, one thing, I'm just going to keep going with the stuff that I'm heated about. I've been trying to contact my business teacher for like the long... Dude, she told me 
So, like she mentioned, like earlier, she's like, "Oh, yo, I could hook you up with this, like, this Fi company, and they can talk to you about esports stuff." And I was like, "Yo, that's sick. We should totally do it." And I've been trying to contact her, and I swear she's ghosting me. She's just, <laughs> she's just not responding to my emails. And Damn. Yeah, but but other than that, I've been Ooh. I've been actually being pretty productive during quarantine so far. Like most days, it's hard to like get out of like bed and like go straight to work, you know. But like. I don't know. I feel like I've been able to grind out some stuff that I'm I'm proud of, like actually getting work done. But yeah, that's that's at least for me. The only thing that I need to work <laughs> on is actually getting exercise. Like I was like, I'm gonna work out, dude. I'm gonna be sick by the time like school starts again. I'm gonna have, but no, nah, that no, yeah, no, no. never happened. I wish. But... I I picked up skateboarding again oh. in, a, in an attempt to get in shape. So like, I I just got my skateboard back from home, and I'm like. While I'm staying at my girlfriend's, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna relearn how to like, how to like drop into bowls and stuff because I'm more of a bowl skater than a street skater for anyone that knows stuff. But I, I want to learn tricks that I never learned back in my skating days. I'm getting back into that. I'm just so out of shape, dude. It's <laughs> bad. I feel bad. that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Lawrence, uh, you've been pretty active on a certain social media this quarantine. I have. So, uh, well, just overall quarantine, or, you know, I'll just, I'll just leave with that. So, the other day, I downloaded TikTok uh, a few days ago. I downloaded it a few months ago, and then I had it for, like, a week or two, and I was like, I'm already wasting way too much time, so I deleted it. Um, and then, I don't know what happened. I think I just saw, like, like oh, cute girl on song that I don't know, but, I like, I'm going to download TikTok. I'm I, like a fucking sheep, so I downloaded it. <laughs> Uh, and I was just chilling, and I'm like, I want to make videos, because now this format's, like, stuck in my head. And and so I started making TikToks about, like, fighting game stuff, and now it's like, I that's a, that's a thing now. Uh, if you want to follow my TikTok, I'm going to throw it in chat. Uh, it's L-S-O-T uh, East Fam. It's in chat. That's Wait, my so TikTok. what does that mean? I'm going to be a homie. Like, I, dude, it's just LS, LS of the letters. East? I guess yeah. I don't. I don't know. I just I made something up and I. I it was a burner. I didn't think it was gonna do anything. Zach plug too. <laughs> I, I plug mine too. <laughs> Are you excited? We gotta get the Team Tournament Flight Simulator game. Coming. I didn't know there was a Microsoft Flight Simulator game. I didn't know. Oh, I oh, remember of course. seeing that E3 announcement. No. That game's so pretty. Oh, the bird thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is it called? Oh, that. Nah, I want game. I I want bird. <laughs> I, I want, I want video game. I want hey to see, I want to see if that's, really a, nice. I want to see if that's a real game or not. If that's just something. What? Like, wait, really? It looks. Um, wait. Because that, that was like what? You guys just like get the public live. safety alert was? as well. No, wait, what? There's a public safety alert. Okay. Yeah, there's a new curfew of 9 p.m. in the city of Atlanta beginning today, oh. or beginning tomorrow. I thought oh. it was like, bro. I'm trying to go protest. Bro, stop. wait, guys! Wait, whoa, 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 me during quarantine, I made TikTok. It's actually it's actually pretty fun. I don't know if that's because I'm really bored or not, but I, I've been doing that. Uh, I started rewatching Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, I'm still on season one. Um, and I think the last episode I, I watched was the one where Aang is in that that uh, some Earth Kingdom town, and there's a fortune teller, and he, he tries Spoilers? to see Katara, marry him later. Um, <laughs> and then, I mean, yeah, I've been I've been playing Smash. I don't want to play in Wi-Fi tournaments, so unless like they're peak and like you know I run them or I help run them, so I've just been in the lab a lot, practicing some stuff, looking up videos about tech and, and stuff like that. And um, I've been I've been working out uh, about like three or four days out of the week. If I'm really lazy, I'll skip like two or three days in a row. But then after that, I'll like feel bad and I'll be like, I need to work out, so I'll, I'll do that. So yeah, I mean, like yeah, mm -hmm. I'm I'm kind of keeping busy. Uh, I need to stream more consistently. I'm gonna try and do that this week too. So yeah, Should I iron out a schedule. <laughs> Consistency is mm -hmm. key. Yeah. At least they say. I don't. Yeah. Know. All right, Khalil. What about you? Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been trying to work out every other day, like, nothing heavy, just like at least one lap around the neighborhood. Today I did like three laps around my neighborhood. That's um, good. outside of that, I've been trying to learn some new fighting games and get better at Dragon Ball. Started working on Skull, learning on Skull, Skull Girls mm -hmm. this week. Uh, actually, Skull Girls is the first game I'm going to learn on Fight Stick because... Ooh. 
playing that game one had does not feel nice. Yes, it's a fast game. Yeah. Um, what else have I been doing? Nothing much really, just like chilling at the house. Yeah. Working out when I can. Mm -hmm. I am also the same where I need to start streaming more consistently. I want the, I want like, the views, man. Yeah. I want I want, <laughs> I want the Twitch clout. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's what we've been up to. Uh, Grapple Ninja hate that they open the gym. I ain't trying to get sick, but now they're charging in for membership. Yeah, businesses, that's what I was going to say, too. Um, everything is slowly kind of opening back up. Uh, I know 404, uh, if y'all don't know, uh, I think it's, it's either 404, like, esports or, or gaming or something. East, or I think it's esports, e yeah. It's esports? Yeah. Okay. Um, Are they opening? Yeah, no, they opened a few days ago. So, or, like, this this past, either, Friday. like, this, like, yeah, yeah, like, yesterday. So, 404 mm -hmm. esports, uh, they're a place here uh, in Georgia, in, like, Doraville. Um, and they hosted, they would host, like, in a, in a, a tournament, a weekly thing, like, every day before all this stuff happened and then the owner like you know uh quarantine happened had to had to close things down and um a month ago he tweeted and he's like should i reopen the store because the governor was like all right businesses can reopen legally and um and he was like no i'm not gonna do it like he took like a twitter poll and a bunch of people said no um so then the other day he opened up and he he put in like a lot of a lot of very um safety first rules it's like uh, no entering the place without a mask and you can I think you can buy one from him probably or get a mask from him if you if you go there and you forget one um, They have like you have to I think like hand sanitizer at the door or something um, They're only open past five o'clock and it's only on weekends uh, You have to like a mandatory temperature check signing a waiver when you get in so he's taking like every measure are they um, hosting tournaments still or oh, is it just, mm -mm. It's just okay. Casuals only. okay, okay, I was I was yeah. I was I was like wait Nah, he's, but yeah, he's, no, that's um, smart. Yeah. It's all BYOC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, he's, mm -hmm. he, he's doing everything to make sure like there's there's no way that you can go there and then get sick or if you like you know what you're getting like you know it's very very safe very whatever. But businesses are slowly opening back up. I've seen restaurants around where I live, uh, people sitting down inside them like nothing's happened and then still it's, it's kind of it's personally I think the shift is kind of weird. Um, and I feel like that we still need like a little more time. As far as I know, any kind of va vaccine or whatever isn't very openly available right now. Right? It's like next year probably. If yeah. Even. yeah. Like it's I I think it's I think it's definitely too early. But like I guess people can do what they want. Yeah, it's just it's a little, a little shaky. I think the, this transition back so so quickly. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Georgia is definitely opening it borders a lot earlier yeah. than everyone else and they want us dead bro too early they're just they were like pretending i feel like they're just pretending i don't want to get into it but i feel like like people are just like pretending it doesn't exist anymore and just like going out and doing that, yeah. like whatever i feel no, like yeah. we should get into this it yeah nah but yeah but I, <laughs> okay okay but but we we, we, we... So, yeah. so then <laughs> before th this this will determine whether or not we we end uh end stream here uh, do do we want to talk about the the other very important current event thing, or do we want to do? We just want to call it. I I think it might be better to not get into it. I'm sure we all have similar opinions. Like I I just think it might be good. Yeah. Too. Okay. I mean, it's up to you guys though. Uh, but like, I mean, is it bad to get into it? It's uh, it's not bad. It's sensitive. I think, I think we, we all have we, similar opinions on it. If yeah, if we but... get into it, we'll just have to be careful. Yeah. You yeah. also looking in chat, right. Governor having a tough time balancing e economy and safety. And then I was at Lowe's today, employees were wearing the mask all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hard. It's wherever you know is in your mouth. I don't know. It's not a complex thing. Um, but so so do you want to talk about the the, the, uh, the thing? or? I mean, I just, I, I got to say, like, people's safety, like, justice and people's safety is first like absolutely and like protesting is definitely all right and I, I like i feel like everything going on right now is like it's definitely like it's scary for a lot of people but it's also like necessary in a way because it has been going on for a long time and it's a very serious and touchy subject because um it's just like a lot has happened there's a lot of emotion behind it i definitely think this is necessary like step for america because it just goes on too much and it 
and whether the people are brought to justice or not it repeats itself so there needs to be like a like kind of like an evolution in the um like the training department and the evaluation and like the person the uh the police officer that got arrested for this had like 18 complaints in his whole career which is absolutely unacceptable in my opinion it's just it's the whole thing yeah yeah uh i, I was gonna say the mango said talk about it in chat um I guess, yeah i guess i guess yeah we'll, we'll, we'll keep it we'll keep it just kind of kind of quick mm -hmm. um so i'm not gonna mm -hmm. we all we all know what's going on i don't think you need to introduce anything we all we all know we all know we all know so chat knows what's going on mm -hmm. um yeah no i think because this has been going on for three years now like since we were in like well like middle school too like, long and then, since yeah before like, we were born years, pretty much yeah no. <laughs> but like it's when it started getting like 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 news when when whenever i was able to observe like news information uh just i remember like that and then it's it's been going and uh i was i was talking to a friend about it today and the way that that i see it uh right now every time stuff like this happens uh it, it escalates uh every time more mm -hmm. more more protest things get more uh uneasy and it's it's just every every single every single time this happens things just kind of get get higher more and more uh grappling ninja i'm numb to it yeah no i i I get that because it's it's hard when it keeps happening and every time being like the, oh no this is like a this is bad but at some point you know you kind of sadly the, the harsh reality of it is that you, you get you get used to it because it keeps happening so i think that because this last time you know, this this current what's happening right now has been so i feel more extreme or it's very very explosive like literally and figuratively i think that this might be hopefully one of the last times that we see everything get really bad like this before we mm -hmm. or else it's just going to be like seven eight months a year is going to go uh going to go by same thing's going to happen and we're going to keep this kind of cycle going um and and yeah it's 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 it's, it's rough it's 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 a lot of things mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah i just it seems like we keep going in like a cycle over and over again where this stuff like keeps happening i saw i saw a picture from like time magazine i think and it was like it had like the date like 1960 and then it was crossed out and then like it kept having years after crossed out crossed out crossed out when like i guess like major events happened and it's just like i it's it's hard to really like i guess believe that like we're still kind of going in this circle it's just like I don't know, something for me that I never had to think about, like, as much is, is, like, are people, like, people can sometimes be, like, afraid to, like, even, like, go outside or, like, when they see, like, law enforcement or anything like that. And, like, that, that, that's just, it's, like, the exact opposite of what it should be. But it, I, I don't know. I, I hope this will finally bring change. And I think that, like, kind of, it's a bigger not necessarily like a bigger deal but like it's more kind of like explosive with like the protests and all that i think it also has to do with like the whole pandemic situation going on as well yeah like mm -hmm. everyone getting like it's just i agree and i think that like pro like dem these like demonstrations and protests are good but it's just it's so scary at like this time especially with how people are reacting to it like but i don't yeah yeah Khalil, what about you? And I think we're going to close everything up. Yeah, I feel like it's a cycle. This always happens or like a case would happen. It's in the news and run protests and then mad over it. But slowly as the weeks go by, it gets forgotten about. Then like months down the line, we'll see the same thing happen again. And everyone get mad about it over again. And like with what's been happening over the last few days, it's just the constant boiling up of the and like since the tipping of the scales, it kept on happening and kept building up and building up. People finally got sick of it, it tipped the scales, and that's where we are now with how crazy things have been the last few days. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. the Mango, I hope you're <laughs> content with, with our answers and us talking about what's, what's going on. Uh, with that, we are going to close out this week's Peak Podcast. Uh, be sure to tune in next Saturday. We do this every week at uh, Saturday, uh, 8 o'clock EST. Um, 
sure to check us out uh, every Friday, our circuit events, uh, exclamation point next event in chat. This is the tournament's channel, so you can check us out, uh, follow us here too. Um, Peak Media, something that we do throughout the week, is our other Twitch channel, uh, Variety Streams. Uh, I believe that every day somebody else is streaming. I'm streaming on Tuesday with the Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield Nuzlocke. Khalil streams uh, Dragon Ball ranked matches, uh, I believe, on Wednesday or, th Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Um, tap water, I don't, you don't stream anything, right? No, I'm trying to set that up. I'm, I'm going to see if my computer can handle it. I'm doing like okay. that. I want to do Beat Saber. That's what I want to stream. And then, we got uh, I don't Shred think King. We got Shred King on Wednesdays for Dark Souls playthrough yeah. right now, and yeah. I think we have DJ James is DJ on my Hans. Yeah, James. <laughs> James. <laughs> James. Just James. DJ Hans. <laughs> 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 DJ Hans on Mondays. Uh, it's Mondays, right? With with yeah, with Skyrim. I'm on for Skyrim that I think is really cool. And uh, oh, it's like a whole yeah. other story campaign thing, but. Check us wow. out there. We just dropped the link in chat, um, and we will be streaming that throughout the entire week. I stream pretty late at night. I'm just gonna throw that out there now. <laughs> um, but uh, you you follow there, ring the bell, get alerts, and um, yeah, I think I think that's it. Thank you for coming in tonight. Thank you guys for all staying. And uh, I'm LS mm -hmm. King Khalil Jamin Sergeant Tapwater, and uh, we'll catch you guys uh, next week. Yep. Bye. See you guys. Thanks for coming out. It was a fun time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh...